Hello, hello. Welcome to your Friday mommy moves. Uh, we're going to do something called yoga nidra, a really, really mini yoga nidra, which means yogic sleep. And we're going to start lying down in Shavasana corpse pose and be here for the whole mommy move. Okay. Um, welcome, welcome. Thanks for coming on live. We're, we are going to use a strap as an option. You can also use a belt or something long enough to tie as an option. You don't need to do this. So come with me. Lay down. Lay down just like this. If you don't have any strap or any belt or anything to do what we're about, what I'm going to do. Otherwise, you could just lay in Shavasana just like this. Palms up. And legs fall open, feet fall open. Everything's just melting into the earth. The option with the strap is this. I think I might get be a little bit off camera if I do this. So let me move my mat some. So you're going to take your strap or whatever you have. Um, I have a strap, so however you need to put your strap on, um, if you have a strap, it would go like this. You have your buckle here. Hmm. Testing, testing. Okay, so I don't know. All right, testing, testing. How's that? Is that better? <laughs> I know, it came on for a while. Thank you for letting me know. This one should be charged. I kind of want to hold it and make sure. Are we back? Okay, thank you, thank you. All right, so we've got our, let me rewind a little bit. I'm not sure when we lost it in the instruction. Um, so if you've got your strap, you're going to loop it through. So it looks just like this. So I've got it through. Remember, you don't need a strap. Use a belt, use a long rope, something that you could just tie. And we're gonna come to the upper middle thigh, um, maybe just above that halfway point on the thigh, because um, we wanna control the hips. And here's the option here, right? So again, you don't have to, you don't have to use any props. We could just lay in Travasana as is, let our feet splay open and just be here, take up space just like that. The only option, the why I'm bringing this is I'm giving you an alternative for your hips to reset within themselves in proper neutral formation. Um, when we splay, sometimes one foot falls a little bit further toward the floor and one kind of shoots straight up or vice versa, or they go way, way flat, which means we splay open the whole neutrality of our bodies. So I'm just bringing back a little bit of integrity into this whole structure, pretty much from the knee to the shoulders. You'll know what I mean when we lay down. So we've got that support. If you're tying anything, tie it just like that. Get it, get it enough to where your feet don't splay open. So they're just shoot, shooting straight up, okay? And so get that support. Mine's going to look like this. Okay. And my feet aren't splaying open. And, it, and as we lay down, we might need to 
adjust a little bit more the tightness to keep our, our legs from splaying open. So this is how it looks for me. So find what feels good for you. Again, just an option with the belt. If it's frustrating you, don't do it. It's not for today then. Try it another day. All right, so we've got our feet straight up if you're using the strap, whatever they are doing if you're not using a strap. Palms facing up, gaze is up, and you can softly, gently close the eyes. Okay, just making sure there's no question. And just be here. Now, Yoga Nidra is, as you're closing your eyes, I'm going to just talk you through a little bit of what it means, and then we'll get into just a, a mini guided session. It's yogic sleep. And in fact, if you were to do little, little, um, if you were to practice yoga nidra, even for five minutes, just before you go to sleep, you'll get deeper sleep. And so this is just inviting in a little deeper rest than maybe is normal. And isn't that funny though, that, that there's actually yogic sleep. That's how important it is. So um, it's so important, I mean, because even while sleep, like our muscles are healing, our wounds are healing, our bodies re being replenished with rest. So think about rest just as important as non-rest. So this is where we find our balance, balancing the doing with the non-doing. And so this is us non-doing. We're just resting here. And now you'll notice if this feels uncomfortable in the lumbar spine, um, just come up to your feet. So plant your feet on the floor and knees are up and we're just kind of like adjusting the spine and then we'll walk our feet back down into our corpse pose, Shavasana. So close your eyes, let your jaw fall open, relax the tension in your temples. Relax your brow bone, everything in your forehead. Just let everything fall. Let gravity release your jaw, release your, your grip on anything, thoughts, emotions, feelings, wherever there's tightness, tension, see if you can let it go and scan your body from the tips of your toes all the way up to the top of your head. Slowly inching one little skip at a time. We're scanning from the big toe to the phalanges and the feet to the ankle up to the knee. Moving slowly, inching our way up the thigh into the hips, the low back. Just noticing what you're noticing as you scan with your mind's eye everything you come across as you just slowly inch your awareness up. We're coming up to the belly button and the diaphragm, the rib cage, the sternum, the, the chest, it's open, the back, how it's resting on the floor. Notice where in your body it's the heaviest that hits the floor. The shoulders, the arms, the neck, the back of the head. And just breathe into the part since we're now at the top of the head even passing the third eye into that space just above the head that place of clarity that's always with you and notice how if you are using the strap how we've been able to kind of keep this this integrity of our body standing straight and firm and strong Imagine yourself standing in this posture and how it would feel to be this, this light on your feet, this erect in your body, this open, this spacious in your mind.
and take one hand, rest it on your belly, and the other hand, rest it over the other hand. So they're both stacked on top of each other. And we're just feeling our breath move in and out of our body. So fill up, fill up. Let your, your hands get really, really big because your belly is getting really, really big. Even your, your diaphragm, it's filling with air. Your lungs filling with air. So this whole torso is lifting up and then releasing, falling, deflating with the exhale. And you feel it even more so with your hands on your belly. And our attention now is in this gut place, this place of knowing, this place of trusting yourself. Watch how it moves. You can open mouth or close mouth exhale, but inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth or the nose. You'll find it's a little, a little more soothing through the nose, in and out. There's no work to be done here. We're just existing. And we're connecting to that place, that self-trust. And using that reconnection with self here, with gut, with instinct. So that when we come across you know, the guilt, the mom guilt, the self-doubt, the questioning ourselves, the, the wondering what if, constantly pervading our thoughts as moms, <laughs> since nothing really is predictable anymore. We're coming back into ourself knowing that realigning with this trust this inner guidance, this inner compass that is the gut, the heart, and that place of clarity that starts at the brow bone and really reaches, inches up just past the top of the head. Imagine light, white light, pure white light, just a cleansing light coming into those areas, reuniting you with yourself. Now imagine doing this for five minutes before you got out of bed or waking up, setting your timer for five minutes earlier than you think the kids might wake up, then your partner might wake up, then the house might wake up. Giving yourself five minutes to just be here. You don't need the strap in those five minutes. This is just an option here today. Coming into our final breaths and taking this inner knowing with you throughout the rest of your day. Final big inhale, big, big, big inhale. Fill up, fill up, fill up. And open mouth exhale. Big sigh out, open your eyes. Help yourself up with your elbows. Use your feet to prop you up onto your seat. Remove the strap if you have it. Ha! Ah, feel what that feels like. Hands on your cross-legged, hands on your thighs. Hmm. And that's it. A little yoga nidra to start your weekend. Thanks for coming on live. See you next week. Happy weekend.